Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, 18650 design course using CAD computer aided design. If you haven't checked out episode one and episode two, make sure to go back to those ones. Check them out because those are the basics. We're going to be going a little bit more in depth today. So we're going to be doing a bicycle frame, triangle bicycle frame and seeing how many cells that we can fit. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to on shape. That is um, our software that we're using. So I have a um, shortcut for that. Then we're going to go to create and we'll do document. I'm going to call this triangle create public document. And so first thing we're going to do is just like before, we're going to create our plot. So we're going to click on front. We're going to click sketch. We're going to click over here front and we're going to do circle um, circle line 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 this is gonna give us our honeycomb plot so circle you press C line you press L and then to us to get out you press escape so we're gonna make um, this line, this line, this line, and this line all equal. We press E for equal. We want this dot and this dot to be vertical from one another so they're in a straight line. Press V for vertical. We want this circle and this circle to be equal. We press E for equal. Now we dimension. So press D for dimension. This one we're going to do 18.4 millimeters. And we're gonna assume that we're doing cell holders, so we're gonna make our spacing uh, 19.75 millimeters. Now, last thing we're gonna do, make one, or press escape, click all of these lines, and we're gonna turn them into construction lines by pressing Q. So these are just for modeling. Now we're gonna go up to up here to linear pattern, click the one circle, second circle and we're gonna do let's say we go 15 wide enter and 10 tall enter okay press enter again and then click a few times and here we are so this 25 that dimension we want to get rid of press delete dimension Go to this one and we want to delete dimension and that's because we already have our spacing so delete dimension okay now we're going to drag the circle to our construction line and that's going to fix all of them in place and we're going to drag this circle up to our our dot right here and that's going to fix it in place and so this is what our plot looks like so it might be a little bit too big let's reduce it a little bit we'll do five uh, five sets tall and i think that's probably going to be okay so let's extrude that we're going to go uh, either shift e or just press ex um, extrude up here we're going to extrude these out 65 millimeter for our 18650 batteries enter and we've got our plot of cells right here okay so we've already done that before earlier in this course now we're going to add an image so in basically any CAD software if you click on a flat face you can sketch off of that face so we're gonna click on a face and we're gonna press sketch and then we're gonna go up here to search tools we're going to type image and we're going to click on insert image so I'm going to insert an image that I've got here of a prior customers bike that we did a battery for and once you have that image loaded up you just uh, drag it so once it's dragged, it is in your sketch, but then we have to 
dimension it and so we have to make it uh, scaled properly so you can see this has a measuring tape which allows for scale so we're going to do a line uh, I pressed L and then I'm going to go right from here this is two inches and we're going to go right up to this 16 inch mark this is going to get us pretty dang close click escape press D for dimension we can zoom in you can see it's pretty much right on the line it's a little bit blurry there uh, but this is going to be you know 99 percent accurate uh, so we have we press d and we're dragging up uh, we have two inches to 16 inches so that is 14 inches total 14 inch press enter and now that is dimensioned and so if we drag this picture around it is accurate uh, and that's pretty cool so one trick that I like to do, because we have this kind of weird line that's hovering, um, I'm going to press D and I'm going to dimension this line up here uh, just as is because it's already pre-dimensioned. And then we can actually just get rid of this line here that's hanging out and our scale is going to remain intact, which is very nice. So. Now we can see um, that we actually do want to go a little bit higher on our original sketch. So if we go back to sketch one and we double click it, um, you can see where it says five for five high. Let's bring that up to, let's say eight. Enter, that's gonna readjust our plot and that is going to make a that's going to make a bigger plot for us to use. Okay, so look at that. Um, so we have obviously more than enough room, uh, more than enough cells. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to delete some of the cells. So we're gonna go over here. You can see we have 240 cells. Obviously that is a lot, right? So uh, a quick hack is just click on any of these parts, press delete on your keyboard, um, and then the delete menu is going to pop up. So then I always escape um, because I Don't know which cell I clicked on but here's a really nice way to just delete a big chunk of these cells so If we we want to make sure that whatever we're deleting is completely horizontal and that way we can just go like this we can drag and boom we've got all of these um, that we can delete. So I think I, I selected a little too many. So I'm going to try that again. Uh, go to delete and exit that one out. And any anything that the line is touching is going to get selected. So that's good. We're going to delete all those and look at that. So that's a big chunk that's gone. Let's do the same thing over here up on the top. Then we're going to do that little hack, press one of the parts, press delete, escape that, and we're going to select all of these. Okay, delete. So we're starting to get, um, we're starting to get pretty close. Now let's delete all this chunk right here by the shock. And let's see what we come up with. And we're getting pretty close. So at this point, um, what we can do is we can go to delete and we can select one at a time just to kind of really refine our selection. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And we'll even throw these ones. And press OK. We got a couple stragglers. We'll get rid of those. One, two. And okay, we've got a pretty good plot 
of what triangles can fit, or what, sorry, what can fit into our triangle. And let's go up and we're taking a look. We've got 78 cells here. Okay, so that's a cool number because that divides into 13. So if we're doing a 48 volt battery, which is 13 cells in series, then we can do six in parallel. And so that's pretty neat. Um, so you kind of want to keep an eye out for your total amount of cells. Say we wanted to do a 52 volt battery um, and we wanted six in parallel, that's going to make 84 cells, uh, six in parallel. Or if we want to trim it back a little bit and we're like, okay, um, how about five in parallel for 14S 52 volt? That's 70 cells, which means we could drop another eight cells which is a good idea because if we're going to do any kind of enclosure or a bag, we're going to need some room. So we'll trim it down another seven cells. Let's go press delete, escape here. Let's get rid of this one. We can also try to give the battery some shape here as well. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so we do seven. Seven, eight, nine. I guess we'll see if we can keep these ones. No, we'll keep these two. And that's gonna give us more room and we scroll up. 71. So one more. One more to delete. Let's delete. about this one, the pointy one on the end. Okay, that is our triangle. So, pretty cool. Um, if we want to move the tri or move the bike frame around it just a little bit, we can go back to our sketch two, which is where our bike was, and we can move the image just a tiny bit, press check mark, and we're gonna see that more centered in the frame. And that's a way to quickly check in a scaled manner how many cells can fit into your bike frame. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, in the next one, we're gonna actually design an enclosure that can be 3D printed. So be sure to subscribe, um, press that bell icon so that when I upload that video or when that video gets uploaded, you'll be notified right away. Uh, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Would love to know what you guys would like to see. I hope that this uh, 18650 battery crash course has been helpful for you so far. Uh, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far and we will see you in the next one.